late to this, but uh, we still got to talk about it, okay? So apparently Scottie Pippen called Phil Jackson a racist. All right, so let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it. What another video to talk about, of course, some NBA here to talk, some Chicago Bulls legends basketball, I guess, and Scottie Pippen and Phil Jackson. And if you're a Bulls fan or if you're an NBA fan, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Follow me on all my social media platforms, guys, and hit the bell icon, okay? So let's get into it. All right, so again, like I said, I'm, I know I'm a little late to this, but I had to take some time to gather my thoughts because of how puzzled I was about this, okay? So a little backstory here. Scottie Pippen was on the Dan Patrick Show, and Dan Patrick asked Scottie Pippen about a GQ article in which Scottie Pippen talked about the 1994 playoff game, which uh, he famously sat or refused to come in the game because Phil Jackson had drawn up the game-winning play, game-winning shot, excuse me, for Tony Kukoc and not him. And so Dan Patrick asked Scotty about that and the fact that Scotty in the GQ article said it was a racial move. And Dan Patrick basically said, what did you mean by that? You're basically implying that that being a racial move means Phil Jackson's a racist. And Scotty Pippen basically said, yeah. I don't have a problem saying that. And then Dan Patrick said, so you think Phil Jackson's racist? And then Scotty Pippen basically agreed. And that's essentially what happened, okay? That's the story of the interview. And by the way, go search up that interview and watch it. That was a cringe fest. Like, it was difficult. Very hard to watch that interview. Like, I just, I felt awful just watching it. It was a hard watch, for folks. I'm not t saying, like, it was a bad interview, like Dan Patrick asked tough questions and stuff, but it was just it was just cringe. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about when you watch it, okay? So, anyways, let's talk about this. All right, well, Scotty Pippen says Phil Jackson's racist first and foremost. Look, folks, uh, this is not the case, right? Again, I don't know Phil Jackson. I've never met Phil Jackson, but um, we have plenty of uh, you know history on Phil Jackson and his entire life, right? This would have came out by now right and so this is certainly not true phil jackson is not a racist i don't believe that so why would scotty say it why would scotty agree that look here's the thing with scotty pippen all right you got to keep a couple things in mind here scotty pippen has said a lot of crazy things in the past okay scotty pippen has said lebron's better than michael jordan which isn't like crazy i mean lebron james is the second greatest player and you can certainly make the argument the greatest player for some people in NBA history. It's not like you're saying, oh, Brian Scalabrini is better than Michael Jordan or anything like that, right? So he said LeBron's better than MJ, but then he said, I'd never take anybody over MJ. And he's flip-flopped a bunch. And there's been a bunch of opinions that he's had that he's taken back. He's been on the jump with Rachel Nichols. And I actually met Scottie Pippen at the All-Star Weekend in, in Chicago in 2020. And it was on the jump, by the way. So Scotty said stuff before. Why am I bringing this up? Because Scotty Pippen does not always stick to his opinions. Depending on the day, the time, the month, the year, Scotty Pippen changes his opinions. And you might be thinking, well, what's wrong with changing your opinion? True, you should change your opinion, but if you get new information, right? So if something has already happened, right? and you are you had an opinion on something, and then you changed it, but nothing happened with that event. It already happened, so it's like, why are you changing your opinion? So that's the thing with Scottie Pippen. So he's done this a lot, folks. And let me be very clear here, okay? Scottie Pippen has changed his opinion a lot, has said a lot of dumb things, I believe, that I disagree with in the past, and at the same time, he is still one of the greatest small forwards of all time, a Hall of Famer, a six-time champ, one of the greatest players in NBA history. All right, both of those things can be true. Just because I'm saying Scottie Pippen has said some dumb things does not mean that I don't think Scottie Pippen is one of the greatest players of all time. He is, all right? And in that incident, Scottie Pippen, even on the last stand, said, I shouldn't have done that. That was a selfish move by me. So to me, number one, Scottie has said a bunch of things in the past that he's taken back. This could be one of them. All right. Number two, Scotty seems to be on a bit of a listen 
to me, give me my due, give me my credit, give me my flowers tour, if you will. All right. He's got a new book coming out, which I'm excited to read, actually. He's got a memoir or something like that coming out. And he's got his new bourbon. I think that's what he was promoting on the Dan Patrick show. And he's promoting that now. So he's got his own bourbon. He's doing his own businesses and whatnot. And Scotty Pippen is trying to promote Scotty Pippen. Okay. And he is trying to say, look, the Bulls don't win six titles without me. All right. I was very important. And he was. All right. He was, folks. Look, for as much as we all love MJ, right? MJ left in 93 and retired. The Bulls made it to the playoffs. Scottie Pippen was a damn near MVP candidate. And we almost got all the way back to the finals. So Scottie Pippen was a hell of a player. Okay. And Michael Jordan didn't win anything without Scottie Pippen. Now you could say the same thing, right? Scottie Pippen didn't win anything without Michael Jordan. Duh. But you get my point. Scottie Pippen was very important. And so what I believe Scottie is dealing with right now is all my life, I'm the sidekick to MJ. I want to get my credit, right? Just when you talk respect, put some respect on my name. And that's it. Scottie Pippen's name always is attached to Michael Jordan. Think about that, right? You are the greatest sidekick of all time, right? And when you say Scottie Pippen, you say, oh, he is the sidekick to Michael Jordan. And so that's the thing, right? And again, it's so difficult here because it's like, okay, would you rather have Scottie Pippen's career win six championships as a sidekick or have Charles Barkley's career and never win a title, but win an MVP, but never win a title. So it's like, uh, what do you want? So anyways, point being here is I think Scottie's saying this, but he doesn't really believe it. He's, he's going to, he's been changing his opinion a lot. And the fact is he wants people to just give him his love. Okay. And he doesn't feel like he does, He gets it. The last dance didn't portray him that well. It portrayed him as selfish. And we saw he called Michael Jordan selfish in that interview too. He said when MJ retired in 93, I thought that was selfish. Now, Scotty can have his own opinion. Because that's the thing, man. Michael Jordan right now, he's the chairman and the owner of the Charlotte Hornets. Right? He's a billionaire. Scotty Pippen is not that. But Scotty Pippen is still one of the best and greatest players of all time. It's just he's saying, look... It's not just MJ, MJ, MJ. I need my due. I need my credit. And so with that happening, you're going to see a couple outlandish things. Now, I didn't expect to hear this from Scotty. He sounded a bit slurred, a bit, uh, you know, anxious and a bit ticked off. So maybe it was a mood thing. But man, hopefully Scotty, you know, takes this back because I just don't see how he agrees with this. This is probably an in the moment type of thing. And we've known Scotty to do that. So I don't believe Scotty Pippen believes Phil Jackson's races. And I certainly don't believe he is. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below if you agree as always. Thanks for watching.